as I said, today we are going to cover the three simplest and most effective strategies that will keep you focused and give you the highest profits in your business. We are going to cover how to create a signature offer that attracts your ideal client like a magnet and allows you to close up to 90% of your audience without any hard sell. And also we are going to cover the tools that I use to become a Forbes contributor, Huffington Post, uh, Entrepreneur Magazine, again featured on TV shows, radio, mainstream magazines only in six months. But before we get started, I would love to know here, uh, if you can please fill up the poll that you see on the right side of your screen, which is where do you need help the most? Is that in creating your signature program? Is that in launching your program or sell out to your program? So then I can see where you are today and I can be focused on deliver the best value for you. Uh, also, we are going to cover uh, as a bonus the top two strategies that I use to grow a massive audience and get high paying clients all at the same time. You do one thing and two things happen and uh, both will happen. So uh, it's going to be freaking awesome on that one. Uh, in this webinar, I have nothing to sell. You can relax. You can enjoy. Uh, however, if you want to get incredible results, like the one that we got with some of our clients, like Sun, which made £120,000 in six months, then there's going to be something simple for you to do, which is apply for a consultation. And that's the only pitch that I'm doing throughout all the webinar uh, for you to apply on the consultation. You will see that there is an offer coming out of the box where you can click and book your free consultation. And that if you at any time during this webinar, you will find a value in what we share and you want us to help you because you don't want to do everything by yourself. Sounds cool? Brilliant. Uh, leave me a comment if everything is cool so far. And we are getting started. Um, now, this webinar is for you. If you, you know you want to scale up to six figures, uh, you're frustrated because you might not sell enough products. And also, you want to have a business which gives you leads and freedom and runs almost kind, gives your clients almost an autopilot. However, this webinar is not for you. If you just want to make money and deliver no value, no, no, boo-boo, we don't want to work with you. This webinar is not for you if you are only focused on working in your client's short term. We are talking about building a long-term relationship with your client. You're not in just for the short term. If you're the kind of person, you can leave the webinar. And also, if you're just a freebie seeker that is going from thing to thing without taking any action from what you've learned, well, probably you will just waste one hour because if you're not taking any action anyway, what's the point? So make sure that you are committed to taking action at the end of this webinar. Uh, just a bit of housekeeping. It's going to be about 60 minutes. Uh, turn off all your notification and engage. I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. So make sure uh, you interact in the chat room because the more you interact, the more value you will get. And also stay until the end because I will have a bonus session at the end and a private Q&A where you can ask me any question that you want. Uh, so, for example, Prash is saying that he wants to get people to contact me or reach out to me. And also getting, putting myself out there. Oh, you will love this training, definitely. So why are we doing this webinar? Well, one of the things that is really scary is that 85% of businesses fail within the first three years. And only one-fourth of businesses in the UK is VAT registered, which means they make more than £85,000 a year. In uh, the US, I found that it's a very, very similar, um, similar percentage, which means... They don't make a lot of money. And why is that? Because there is this problem, right, between experts and business. Now, the experts, you know, you want to get out there to change lives, to make an impact in the world. Or you want to get out there to, because you say, no, you look at me, right? I'm awesome. I can change your life. And you love the spotlight. I, I, I'm, I'm playing both. I love the spotlight and I want to change the world. And, but business is different. A business is not just about spotlight and changing the world. Business is about sales, marketing, operations. It's all about uh, all this t running a team, leadership. So there are a lot of it's more complex. It's much more complex than just rocking up and say I'm going to change the world. And the, the game changer happens when you mix your expertise and the business practice together. And this is what we are doing today. It's not just about saying I'm an expert, but it's about saying. How can you run your business in a most profitable way? And in this way, so you get perceived as an authority 
and get clients coming to you and always have opportunities coming to you. But what keeps then experts stuck? And this is really important for you to know, to, uh, to be aware if you're making those mistakes, right? And I want you to check within yourself. Are you making those mistakes? First of all, people don't get results because they don't know the best practices. So they might not know what's working right now in their industry as a business. So just think about yourself right now. What do you think uh, about, uh, about, about you? What is the, the, um, uh, do you know what's hot at the moment? Do you know what's relevant? The other thing is that they have no peer group, so they do everything by themselves. And therefore, they lose passion, they lose motivation, and everything feels harder all the time. That's why it's difficult to follow through. Then the other reason is that they don't have external accountability. So they don't have someone external that keeps them accountable to their word. Just check within yourself. Do you have a peer group? Do you have someone keeping you accountable? And they have no resources, which means uh, they don't have many connections or tools or templates to make their word and their, their life easier. Because, you know, you can do things in two different ways. You can do things the hard way, which is just doing everything by yourself and opening doors by yourself and creating all the resources by yourself, which means they are created to trial and error. It takes time. It's very expensive. It's a very expensive habit, the trial and error part. While by having other people opening doors for you, or giving you the resources that they have, they will save you time, so therefore you can accelerate faster. So think about yourself right now. What do you have? Do you have the best practices? Do you have the peer group? Do you have external accountability? Do you have resources? Or maybe you don't have those things. And which one you don't have? Just keep a mental note. Because these are the things that now you need to commit to have in your business to make it successful. And it hurts. It hurts if you don't have those things. Now, I know this picture is gross. I know that. <laughs> I know that, man. That was one of the most painful days of my life. And you can leave me all the nasty comments in there. But I, it was the day before my wedding. And uh, as you can see, I'm a hairy Italian. <laughs> you know when you say I'm a hairy Italian? That's I'm a hairy Italian. And my wife said, uh, I would really love uh, as a wedding present if you could wax front and back. Man, ladies, I've got an all new respect for you because you do it as a daily practice. I mean, I hope you do. But, <laughs> oh my God, it's painful. And the reason why I put that picture up there, and I know it's gross, it is because if you don't have those things in your business, it's painful. You'll feel the pain, but you don't know where it's coming from. At least when you're doing a wax, you know where the pain is coming from. But if you don't know, you just feel pain and things are not working. And at the same time, you don't know where it's coming from. So now you know, right? So make sure you commit to do something about that. Are we all on the same page? All great so far. Give me a whoop whoop here in the comment if we are on the same page. Give me a good whoop whoop again here in the comments so I make sure that you are still with me. So I'm looking at the comments right now. I keep you accountable to this. As I said, I need your engagement so I can give you 100%, actually 1,000% on myself, right? Whoop, whoop. Boom, put it in the comment. So why do you want to focus on building an expert business right now? Well, never now there has never been a better time in history. Uh, just in 2017, which was last year, was an industry with 43 billions. It's an industry that allows you to stand out. And maybe you are in this industry because you want to stand out. You have this desire to be better than other people or be better um, uh, than yourself. Um, you have maybe have this desire to be a knowledge for what you do have recognition in the word. That's a big driver and motivation for me. I love recognition. And that's why I actually started in this industry because I didn't want all the work that I was putting in the background to get unnoticed. And by being able to have this authority, I was able also to have the recognition that I felt I deserved. But also one of the reasons why I'm in this industry is that to here to change lives. And you might be in this industry because you want to change lives. And you want to make this world a better place to live. Or maybe you just want to take care of the people that you love. <laughs> Your family. I love my mom. I do this for my mom, for my little brother, for my wife. And uh, maybe it's the same for you. Or maybe just because you want to live the dream and have an incredible lifestyle. You know, you want to have something that you couldn't imagine even was possible. Like, I, for example, I had my freaking wedding in a castle. 
and I got fireworks and we got this five star resort. And uh, I'm not saying this to show off, but I would have that day would have not been possible if uh, I wasn't running my business in the right way. Uh, thank you very much for joining, Bobby. No problem. So, how do we make this possible? How do we take care of the people? And that now we're going to really start getting into the meat of the content. It's about following the four pillars to become an expert authority. And again, what I want you to do, I want you to write that in a comment once I go through them, which one you have and which one you don't have. So I'm aware and you are aware. Sounds cool? You have a deal? Deal. Right. So uh, the way I got to find out about these four pillars is because I started attending thousands of seminars. You can see me there, always in the first row. I was there with the one with the fancy hat. And um, I decided to run seminars myself and to go into this industry myself. And when Ben and I started, you can see Ben, my business partner, we didn't have a freaking clue about what we were doing. No clue, no idea. We are running our event, first event in a freaking farm. And uh, we did a, a flash mob to get clients. It, all things that didn't work at all. And we realized that we had a lot of passion and we were putting passion and passion and passion, but we felt we were running and spinning around in a circle. And then we made the decision and we said, okay, we need to learn from other people that are doing this better than us. And we spent more than 120,000 pounds in uh, the past five years and countless hours to hone our skills. And that's where we came across these four pillars because everything that we were learning could come down to these four core principles. And if you don't have just one of them, then that's also the reason why your business is not growing. You need to have all four pieces for the business to grow. So let's look at which one they are. First of all, is your perfect business strategy, is the perfect strategy. It's a strategy that allows you to be focused and not to waste time feeling that you're not getting anything done and feeling and seeing no real result in your business. So this is a strategy that creates consistency, predictability in your business. You know you're putting effort in, you're getting something out. Not something that says, oh, maybe I'm going to put this in and maybe if I'm lucky, fingers crossed, I'll get something out of it. <laughs> uh, and you might already have a business that is generating money, but is not done uh, in a strategic way. You're kind of saying, oh, well, I got a bunch of people referring me to them and that might be it. Or you're going to a lot of networking events. And in fact, during the webinar later on, we are going to discuss the perfect strategy. What are some strategies that you can apply in your business? Something we are going to cover later. Then the other thing that you need is a perfect signature program. You want to have a signature program because it makes you unique in the market. Now, if you don't have one, if you don't have a signature methodology, a signature program, you are just like everyone else. And because you're just like everyone else, people uh, will just shop for prices. They will not be attracted by you because you have a unique methodology that makes you who you are. Like, for example, we have the Explode Your Expert Biz methodology which is based on these four pillars. That makes us unique. But if you don't have something like that, then it's very likely you're just going to be, uh, I'm going to give you some sessions. And then you wonder why your clients don't find you attractive enough to be attracted to work with you. Because what you want to create is not a selling approach. You want them to be attracted to work with you. Is it making sense? Right? Then the other thing that you need to have, which is the third pillar, is the perfect marketing plan. Is the perfect marketing plan that allows you to build your audience, your audience online and your audience offline. Now, if you don't have that, it's going to be very unpredictable to get clients. But when you start reaching a tipping point where you have a number of followers, and we're going to look in the, later on in the bonus session that we have after the, the webinar tonight uh, about how can you build this audience in the fastest possible way with all the things I've, I've been doing. I'm going to give you the things that work the most, actually the two things that work the most for this part. And, uh, but if you don't have it, then uh, you're just going to be hustling and hustling and hustling and uh, you will never have that pool of client where you can say, oh, I need client or I want to get some client. Here you go, I'll put out an offer. I will always have a bunch of people buy. You want to arrive to the level of predictability. So that's why you need to be focused on having the perfect marketing plan. And then you need to have the perfect pitch, the perfect pitch that allows you to get featured on the media and attract your ideal client. 
Now, if you don't have that perfect pitch, then uh, you will never be picked by media. It would be always a struggle. And also, uh, your clients will, is going to be very difficult for a client to say, yes, I'm resonating with you and I want to buy from you. I want to buy right now. So these are the four things that you need. And once you have those four things, that's when things started changing for me. Uh, I started uh, being involved in the industry influencers like Les Brown, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, be nominated in the House of Parliament as one of the most influential migrant entrepreneurs here in the UK, did a TEDx talk, won the award as best public speaker in the UK, woohoo, in 2016. And also been featured in a bunch of magazines and TV shows like Forbes, recently on Entrepreneur, um, Sky, and so on. And all this, uh, and work with incredible, a uh, lot of corporate clients as well. And all these results came down to the four pillars, which is uh, the perfect business strategy, then the perfect signature program, the perfect marketing plan, and the perfect pitch. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to write in the comments, remember, the more engaged you are, the more you will get out of this webinar. I'm doing this for you, I'm not doing this for me, right? So what I want you to write is well, write down in the comments what are the things that you have and what are the things that are missing. So do you have the strategy and the signature program? Maybe you don't have the audience and the pitch. Or maybe you can get on media, but you don't have the business strategy. So write down in the comments what you have and what you don't have. Now, if you are missing all four, then you have a great idea already about why your business is not growing, which is a good sign because you know what you have to work on right now. If you have other ones, is a great. If you have just one, is a great sign, because again, it gives you the focus on what to work on next. So making sense. So write it down right now. I need to hear it from you. You want the best from me? I need you to be engaged. All right. So write it down in the comment. And uh, right. So let's start first of all right now to dissect the first big chunk of the content, which is going to be about the perfect business strategy. We talked about the importance. Of having a clear business strategy you remember well this is the thing that keeps you focused that makes your business predictable that gets you to scale past six figures not because uh, you're saying one day mm, the wind is blowing that direction my goal there the wind is blowing that direction I might go there the wind is blowing that direction I might go there no, you're not saying that. It's predictable every single time. So how do we do that? Well, there are three strategies that I found that you can use in your business to be able to create that level of predictability. Now, I'm going to give you the three strategies and I'm, then I'm going to get you to pick one. Okay, because you cannot, I'm not advising you to implement all of them at the same time up until you reach a certain point. When you pass the six figures, yes. But to get to the six figures, just do one and refine it up until it works every single time. All right? So we're going to look at that. And uh, there is something, this is the first piece that we do when we work with our clients. In fact, we have designed a canvas to help our clients going through all their strategies step by step so they are always clear and they are always focused on that. And uh, the first strategy is a strategy that helped one of our clients, uh, Annie, to make 60,000 pounds in 14 days. That's a lot of money and it works. So what is this strategy that Annie used after attending one of our courses? Well, the strategy number one is the simplest strategy you can use. Go to networking events, get people on consultations and get clients that way which means your focus is to get consultations. No, your primary focus is to get clients having consultations with you. That becomes your primary focus, which means that everything you do in your marketing material, when you're going networking, you're pitching a consultation. You are not pitching anything else. Not a Facebook group, not an online program, not a webinar, not a seminar. You're just focused on getting consultation, doing everything you do. The strategy works incredibly well. And uh, as, as, you, as you remember, like Ani made 60 grand in, in 14 days using this strategy. And I've got a, a lot of case studies, but this is one of the, of the biggest one that we had. 
And it allows you immediately to get high paying clients because in the transaction is one to one. Now, positive and negative of the strategy. Well, so let's start from the positive. The positive is you can immediately close high ticket sales from the first interaction. The negative is uh, it is very time intensive because you're going from networking event to networking event to networking event to networking event to find those ideal clients. And when you're finding those networking events or when you're going networking, you want to make sure you are in the right room. So if you're targeting business owners that are at a certain level, if you're targeting people that are interested in certain health products, then go where they go and go and network there. If you're selling health and fitness for employees and then you're going to a networking event for entrepreneurs, there is not a match. So when you're going networking, it's not going networking for the sake of it. It's going networking where your ideal audience is. Is it making sense? Give me a whoop whoop if that makes sense. And thank you very much for your comment, guys. Uh, we have Bobby said that uh, didn't uh, not all figure out though, uh, but yes, bits of everything. And then Alexandra said uh, missing all four because she has not started and she doesn't have peers or practices. So now you know, Alexandra, what to focus on. And I hope that you're going to apply for our free consultation because definitely we can help you. So that's the first strategy we said, networking and consultation. It works, time intensive, but very high result. The other one is uh, the second strategy that you can implement. And remember, just want to be focused on one at a time. Is uh, what, for example, this is Lava used, uh, one of our clients used exactly last week to make $15,000 in one hour. It works incredibly well, this strategy. And this is strategy number two, which uh, you are going to use Facebook ads or organic traffic coming from blog posts or Facebook group. And it works in already if you have an audience. Now, if you don't have an audience, you will have to spend a bit of cash on ads. I'm talking about thousands, I'm not talking about a few hundreds, right? Thousands, and then you can scale it up. And then you can get organic traffic, which means that you can get other people referring you to, or you can be a blog post that you're writing or YouTube videos that you're doing. And the call to action for this organic traffic and the paid advertisement will be to, for people to come to a webinar. Like you have probably been seen in this webinar today. That's the strategy that I've been used to get you here. Facebook ads and organic traffic, getting people on a webinar where I'm delivering value and then getting them onto a consultation. Now, when people are on a webinar, you can decide to offer a consultation like I'm doing today. If you like what we do, sign up for a consultation. No risk, we see if you are a good fit or you can immediately sell a paid product. So people make a purchase during the webinar. They both work. I recommend you to test both. Now, the reason why I opt out for a consultation, it is because I am I love building a relationship with people. I'm in business for the long term. And I found that a lot of times that during webinars, unless people, they already were pre-sold to attend the webinar, it was becoming very sleazy and there was little value and it was all about the sale. And a lot of people were wasting time. So I decided to go to the consultation because in this way, I have less selling to do. And the selling is done by the quality of the content I'm delivering. So I can be more focused on delivering incredible content rather than pitching you all the single time. So yes, I'm pitching because I'm showing you the case study. I'm showing you my credibility. There are all the pieces of a paid webinar, of a selling webinar there. But I found that... Uh, the percentage I can spend more time delivering value. That's why I love the consultation webinar. So in fact, if you haven't applied for the consultation, you remember there is a link here on your screen, apply for the consultation so we can help you out. So that's number strategy number two. It works incredibly well. And uh, that's what this is lava used to make it $15,000 in one hour. Got people on the consultations from the webinar, convert them exactly following this formula. Then you have the other strategy, and this is the third strategy, which is the last one. And the last strategy has been used by Suze uh, uh, two weeks ago. I'm just giving you the recent, the most recent case studies. That's why you find these case studies. These are the most recent. I've got hundreds of clients that got incredible results. But one of them was Suze and got it 40,000 40, euros in one day because she's based in, uh, in, in um, uh, 
in Holland. I was saying Deutschland, Holland. <laughs> She's based in Holland. And uh, this strategy worked incredibly well. And this strategy is getting external speaking engagement. So it works in particular if you want to have an offline business. The strategy before worked if you want to have a, a business mainly online. Like this is Lava. She's having all her business online. This is a strategy that I use and Suzy's use because we use events and seminars. So what we do, we do speaking engagements and Facebook advertisement to drive people to an event and sell a high ticket product in the 5,000 or the 10,000. Now, the most I've made in one day using this strategy for me has been 150,000 pound in one single day. Whoop, whoop. That was a happy day. I got to tell you. Very happy day, probably one of the happiest day of my life, seeing how much money we made. Now, this strategy is great in particular if you have a passion for speaking, if you have a passion to go in front of a live audience. And with all the strategies, is also the most profitable strategy. But also is one of the most difficult and also costly because then you need to create an event yourself. So instead of just doing a webinar that, you know, worst case scenario, you pay Fifty pound, fifty dollars a month for a webinar platform, and you are literally in your living room, so you have no extra cost. An event will have venues associated to it. When you are going and speaking at other people's events, which is a speaking engagement, the first part, you will need to travel to that location, most of the time on your own dime. So, is a high is more costly. However, is I found the one that uh, gives me for me the most pleasure because I love talking to people. I would rather do a live event than a webinar. That's personally that makes me happier. Now we are in a stage of our business that we we are going to do both because we are scaling to the seven figures. So now I'm implementing different strategies together. But going to the six figures, we just use one strategy, which was this strategy because it's the most profitable. And also is the one that I enjoy the most. So you look as well, what kind of lifestyle do you want to live? What kind of, uh, uh, how are you as a person? Do you thrive by meeting your clients in person and face to face and facilitating your room? Great. Are you the kind of person that actually loves to be behind the laptop? Awesome. You can choose what business model is best for you based on where you are. So now the question becomes, uh, uh, for example, Veronica is saying that we're networking for her, has been working for her in the past. That's brilliant, Veronica. I'm really happy. Now is your time to pick your model. Which model are you going to use? Are you going to use model number one, which is uh, networking? Are you going to use model number two, which is webinars? Or are you going to use model number three, which is uh, live events? Leave me a comment. Which model are you going to focus on? This is the model where you will spend the next 12 months mastering. Before moving to another two webinars, I've already run more than 200 events because that was my first, that's how we got started. And then I went focus on webinars and there run 85 webinars in a one and a half years because I wanted to be super focused on webinars because the event side was already going on and we already had all that almost systemized and we had a team helping with that. So what is the one that you are going to focus on right now? Networking, number one, to consultation. Getting people to a webinar and then offer a consultation or a paid product. Or getting people to a seminar and then selling a higher ticket item straight away. Which one do you prefer? So now then you got to commit. Because then if you apply for the consultation, then we will work together on implementing that strategy and putting all the pieces that you need to make that work. Make sense? Cool. Fabulous. So write it down. All great so far. If you have any question, we're going to have a Q&A at the end. So you can write your questions and then keep them for the end because we have a Q&A once we reach the 60 minutes mark. So make sure that you have any question, you put it out there. Uh, for Bobby, webinar. Fantastic, Bobby. Thank you very much. You're going to use webinar. So you need to be super focused and learn how... The, the how to create landing pages how to get people to attend the webinar how to create a webinar itself how to create a pitch all these kind of things are going to be essential skills for you um to make your business work right so now we have talked about webinars we talked about webinars and now it's time and we talked about the 
pillar number one, which was your business strategy. So you have chosen your business strategy. Uh, Veronica is using strategy number three, events. Awesome. Um, uh, Bobby says it's taking too much time, even if you're better in person. Okay, so you might be at the stage where you want to scale up. Uh, if you have enough clients from one to one, I would recommend absolutely to scale up with webinars. Pardon me. So now we are going to the next part. And the next one is how to create a signature offer that attracts your ideal client like a magnet and allows you to close up to 90% of your audience without any hard sell. Now, some people will say, what? Like, how is that possible? Is that even possible? Well, I'll tell you it's possible because it's happening to me and it's happening to also to some of my clients. And, uh, uh, and this is where we are talking about the importance of creating a signature program. This is really important. Now, signature program. Question is, do you already have a signature methodology? Do you already have a signature program? Which is a methodology that uh, you have created, which means you're not repeating other people's stuff. Or maybe you have learned other people's stuff, but you're packaging them in your own way and putting your own spin, not just copy and pasting. So all I'm sharing with you tonight, I've learned somewhere some from experience and some from other courses that are paid thousands, tens of thousands to attend. Now, what I'm doing when I teach it, I will put in my own spin. I will never just copy and paste someone else's content because that's stealing their material. But then I can create my own model based on what I learn and put in together all the things that I've learned on the topic in the most effective way. And that's what a signature methodology is. So do you already have a signature methodology? Write me right in the comment, yes or no. Because if the answer is no, then you gotta focus on that because that's what's gonna make you stand out. So once you've decided your business model, then we are deciding your methodology. What is the thing that's gonna make you stand out? So we have a comment from Alexandra that is saying, I'm not really trying to get people into a consultation. I'm trying people to contribute their time or money to a cause. It works in the same way. I don't know what kind of business you're in, Alexandra. Uh, is that a charity? Because if that's a charity, that's a, a, a different ball game. <laughs> it's a completely different ball game if you're looking for a charity. But you can use some of the things that you're learning tonight also for uh, also in your charity because uh, it's a product. Anyway, is what makes people have making a buying decision. Uh, so Bobby saying yes, it needs to package better. Okay, so we, we are looking at now how can we package it better. So Veronica doesn't have it. Thank you very much for sharing. So here there is something that we do uh, when uh, we work with our clients, but we are not focusing on this tonight, which is the creation of the signature program. So if you don't have it, then sign up on the consultation so we can work together on that. But uh, how then do we create an offer, a crazy offer from the signature program, which is what Bobby was saying about? Well, number one, you can look at making sure that your signature offer gives an exceptional service. Right? So you want to give an exceptional service. You want to give a service that goes above and beyond what people are expecting. Because if you are focused on giving that service, then people will buy from you rather than from someone else because they will see that they get more value and therefore will justify a higher price. Now, we will justify a higher price if we can justify the service that we receive and increase the service and how we feel better about it. So therefore, it doesn't sound really expensive, but it sounds, oh, it's expensive, but it's worth it because I'm getting all this extra service. So that's how you can increase your price in a great way, so give exceptional service. The other one is solve your biggest problem. So solve the biggest problem of your audience. Now, your audience, you will find that once you are clear about your ideal client, then you will find that your ideal client will have one problem which is bigger than all the other problems. Now, if you're able to solve that big problem, that huge problem, you're saying, you know what? I'll solve the biggest problem you have. The bigger the problem, the more money you will make. And also, all the other people that are solving the smaller problems they will not get a business because you are solving the bigger problem. For example, one of the biggest problems, I got a client which is a career coach. Any career coach here in the room? Just let me know. But a client which is a career coach and uh, one of the biggest problems that career coaches, that people have going to a change of career 
is to make sure that they face their interviews in the best way, in particular the top performing one. The interviews are very tough if you are going to a managerial or senior level. The interviews are incredibly long and very tough because they need to test not only your skills, but they need to test how you react under pressure and situation. So one of the things that she specializes on and we decided to specialize on was creating, specializing in, uh, in interview skills and getting tough interviews. So we'll get your tough interview out of, the, out of the way and we'll get you to pass the toughest interview. Now you see that now someone that goes in and says, I'll get you to pass your toughest interview so you can get the job at the senior level that you want. Or someone that says, I'm a career coach. There is a big difference, right? There is a huge difference. What's more attractive? The I'm a career coach or I help you pass the toughest interview so you can get the senior job that you want, the job at the senior level that you want. And so by focusing on the biggest problem, you will be able to then attract more clients. The other thing is also to give structured accountability. So now one of the objections that stops people from buying is that they will say, well, all good and great, I got all these information, but I've been on other courses, I've done nothing with them. How are you going to make sure that I will get things done? So if you include accountability and structured accountability, like a process that gets them to complete something first and something second and something third, where they can see a progress, then you will find that your clients will work with you and they will work with you instead of working with someone else. In fact, that's something that we put in all our programs. A big ethos of GTEx is that information are worth nothing. Implementation is what is worth. That's why I'll always give you my best information for free. Why? Because I know that what's most valuable is the implementation. So I'll give you the information to show you I know my stuff. I know what I'm talking about. I can prove results for myself and for hundreds of my clients. Do you want me to help you implementing those things so you can get results? So if you stop selling information, you start selling implementation and structure and accountability, you will find your sales that will explode because that's what people want for nowadays. You know, we are overwhelmed by information. We get information everywhere. However, what we are missing is a structured process. So even if it's an online course and in an online course you are given structured accountability, your online course will sell more than just a course that just set it and forget it. And also I think it's more ethical. Why? Because then you are making sure that you, you're giving everything you can for your clients to get results. Now therefore your course can cost even more. So you don't, it's not cheap. Why? Because you're going to make sure that your clients will get done what they want. And then the other thing, and then I'm going to answer to jump back in the comments because I see there you have a few questions, guys. Is that also putting a one-stop place? So once you've solved the biggest problem, give an exceptional customer service, give a structured accountability, think about what are all the other smaller problems that your clients have. Now, if you're able to solve them too within your program as bonuses, then your client will see, oh my God, you're not solving my biggest problem. You're solving all the other problems that I have in that specific topic. I'm going to buy from you. For example, one of the things that uh, um, uh, one of our clients does uh, is uh, branding strategies. Now, one of the things that people need after branding is also growing their audience because now they have this brand, but no one knows them. So the biggest problem is uh, I don't have an identity. So therefore, I don't feel ready to get out there. So what she says is that I'll get you ready to get out there with a strong brand. However, another problem they have now is how to grow their audience. So then what she teaches them is also including the package how they can grow their audience. Another problem they have, now you're out there, you need to know how to make sales. So now she solves the problem of making sales. So now you see that all this bolt on, all these things, they are added to the package and they add relevant value. So it's not just bonuses you check in because, you know, you have a book, which, you know, is an ebook and you can throw it as a freaking ebook. No, there are things that are relevant to what they are already buying.
And if you are able to solve, to think about, okay, what is the biggest problem? And then what are the other problems? And solve them too. Then you'll make a no-brainer offer and people will line up to work with you. Now, disclaimer, it's going to be more work for you, right? Because uh, you are going to create uh, more content. But the good news is that uh, you don't have to be the only one delivering all that. That's the good news. Because uh, you can have other people delivering that content for you. So you can find the other experts and create joint ventures and partnerships for other people to add value to the problem as solve the smaller problem. But you want to be the one to solve the biggest one. Why they will buy from someone else? So you solve the biggest one. Then if you are if you have the passion or if you have the time or if you have the expertise, you can solve all the other smaller. Or you can create partnerships and have other people delivering parts of your program. And that it works incredibly well, but they're still part of your package. And then you can create structured affiliate deals, but that's another topic. All right, sounds cool. Give me a whoop whoop if it makes sense so far what I've been talking about. Give me a whoop whoop if that makes sense so far. I hope you, you wrote down this checklist because if you create offers in that way, then your clients will buy. Guaranteed, 100%. Done it for many years, it works. Made more than seven figures creating clients, products in this way. It works. All the other clients who use it create products in this way. It works. What more do you want? So I'm going back to the content and then we are moving on to the next part uh, where we are going to, to uh, look at the tools that I use to get featured on major publications. So in terms of question, we have uh, a question from Prash, which is saying he's going to use uh, a networking event um and the twerking events and webinars brilliant prash uh does amy porterfield pay a thousand to advertise a webinar on facebook my i don't know the amy porterfield finances so ask amy porterfield <laughs> that will be the question <laughs> that will be the answer for those of you that don't know amy porterfield is uh, uh, she's an, an influencer selling uh, how to create webinars but I can tell you that Amy Porterfield campaign, we are talking about six figures in Facebook advertisement. We're not talking about a thousand, we're talking about a hundred thousand dollars in Facebook advertisement. That's the kind of launches that she does. Uh, so you're doing joint ventures, awesome. Um, Alexandra said, very good idea. He said, Alexandra, this has solved a big problem that lots of people want to solve. It's a non-profit, by the way. Okay, so the question is, uh, uh, and I'm going to challenge everyone here, all right? This can be challenging for some, and it's to answer mainly to Alexandra. But I listened recently to an interview, a podcast with a billionaire, and he says, if you want to make the world a better place and you want your business to have a social cause, don't create a non-profit or a non-for-profit or a charity. Create a business. Why is that? Because if you think about it, charities and non-for-profit are always struggling for money because they are designed to not make money. However, if you want to solve a big problem, you want to make sure that you have enough capital to solve that huge problem. And that's why businesses now are going to be the new charities. If you think about it, I mean, what problem solved the most? Who solved the biggest problems in the world? Elon Musk, Bill Gates? that have billions that they can give to charities or a charity which is uh, struggling to get someone to support them with 10 pounds or $10. And I know this is a very challenging talk and it's shaking the ground for many people. However, we can see that businesses are going in the ethical direction anyway. So if you want to make the world a better place, I recommend to start a for-profit business. The reason why it is because with the profits, then you can, the way you, you spend that money, then is up to you. Like the, the thought that profit is bad is, uh, is very stupid in my opinion. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Not the thought, not the person who thinks that. The thought. And it's very limiting. Because then at the end of the day, is the person that uses the money who then gives the energy to that money. So I'm opening a parenthesis here. I hope that uh, I don't want to offend anyone uh, through, through this talk. I just want to share what I believe in. And uh, that was a challenging thoughts that 
I got when I listened to the interview of this billionaire, but it made sense. It made sense to me. So that's why I decided to work in that way. Um, uh, Bobby says, I'm interested in promoting joint ventures. That's awesome. Uh, Veronica does joint ventures too. Fantastic. It's a big, big part of being focused. Now, we're going to move uh, on the next part because we talked first about the perfect strategy. Then we talked about the perfect offer. And now we are talking about the perfect pitch. Now, first of all, are you getting value so far? Those of you that have been here, are you getting value so far? Just give me a yes in the comments if this webinar has been valuable for you and that you are getting some practical stuff that you can implement in your business. Some food for thought, some checklist here to benchmark, to look at where you are. Just give me a yes if you're finding that it is very valuable for you. So now, now we're moving into the perfect pitch. And the perfect pitch is uh, what allows you to get featured on uh, major publication, major podcasts, major magazines, uh, major TV shows, and also attract the clients that you want. How do we do that? I use this uh, to get featured on Forbes, Sky Television, Mind Valley, Huffington Post. Now, recently became a, a contributor for Entrepreneur Magazine. Whoop, whoop, happened uh, literally this week. Uh, um, no, last week. It happened last week, late last week. I was really excited about that, which is going to be a soon a logo on their Entrepreneur Magazine. So there are a few resources that I'm going to give you. Number one, you want to start creating content. In particular, you want to start creating video content and written content. Reason why it's important to have content on your own platform before you contribute to major platforms is because they will ask you to an example of what you've been writing so far. So if you have nothing to show, not even a blog that you have written, then they will see you as someone who is not influential enough to be on their platform. So if you want to be on a major platform, you need to look the part. Now, if you want to go to a gala dinner and you show up at a gala dinner in shorts, probably you will have the bouncer stopping you and say, no, mate, you're not allowed. The same thing happens with major publication, joint ventures uh, with the people that are already authorities in the industry. You need to look the part and to have the pieces of the puzzle together for other major publication to consider you. Unless, unless you have an incredible story, which is a piece of PR that someone else is going to write about you, right? So you can go down these two angles. One is you want to become a contributor, which means regularly featured, and you write for those platforms, then have your shit together. Second is have an incredible, mind-blowing, emotional story that can be featured, that can be used by PR and publicists to be featured in those articles because they know that what attracts the readers. Now, I love being a contributor of platforms. And the reason why I love that it is because it gives me full authority and uh, in what I'm going to write. And the articles are my articles, not someone else's articles. They are mine. And someone who is being featured and someone who is a regular contributor have two different ways. Someone who is a regular contributor, more important than someone who is featured once. That's how it works in terms of credibility. So how do we do this? Well, number one is a resource that you can use, which I absolutely love which is uh, um, the, uh, it's just called the Help a Reporter Out. H-A-R-O, Help a Reporter Out. Now, this is a great, it's a free tool. There's a paid version, a free version, but you can use the free tool. And the free tool gives you every day a list of about 100 to 150 journalists that every single day are looking for stories to publish. You will pitch your story they will look through the pitches that they have, and then they will select one. Now, through this is a numbers game. The more you apply, the more you get. And there is a structure to make sure that your application has more chances, because I sent hundreds of applications. Some of them were picked, some of them were not. But right now, because I know what to write in the application, I have a higher chances to make it work. But in this case, you will submit your application. You will get featured if they find your story on your topic, interesting enough, what they will do, they will feature you there. Very simple. One of our clients, Hannah, uh, she used Harrow once. And she's been featured on Forbes. Just Harrow once, first article, first pitch, been featured on Forbes. 
I was like, oh my God, it took me about 20 articles before I got pitched, published somewhere. Uh, of course, she, she, we, we, we looked at it, we helped her out to, to craft the pitch, but she had an amazing job. So sometimes you can find super high, big platforms that are going to feature there. So that's one, it's called Haro. The second one is called Source Bottle. Source Bottle is gonna get you featured again. It works in the same way as Haro works. It's mainly um, based in Australia, while Haro is mainly give uh, features in the US, but they both have a UK edition. So where you are going to be providing, you're going to give given opportunities just for the UK market and for UK publications. But anyway, I don't think you should discriminate. <laughs> Right, you can give a big publication like whether it's in the UK, whether it's abroad, whether it's in the in the US, whether it's in Australia, whether it's in Africa, whether it's in China. I don't care. I just want to be published. And that's another ch a source which is called Source Bottle. You can find it there. Works in the same way as a Haro. The next one is a cheeky one. Is uh, what we call what is the Forbes Coaches Council? Now this is a private council. That allows you to is a paid membership, so you pay for it, right? And uh, is a private membership that allows you to publish on Forbes as many times you want, and you become a Forbes contributor by paying that platform, that membership. Now that's, for example, one the one that I did, because for me, time is more valuable than money. I could take a long time doing through all the pitches, or I could just see if I can be selected. To be, to be part of this exclusive membership. Now, the thing about the Forbes Coaches Council is that the private invitation only membership. So only someone who's already a member can recommend you. So I've been recommended by a friend of mine, which was already part of it, and that's how I got to know about the Forbes Coaches Council. And uh, that's what I'm doing with some of my clients that uh, I know they are ready to go to that level. I will just make the application and the introduction myself. So that's something which we've been doing. We got about four or five clients already through throughout the applications. But it's something that if you know someone or if you're working with us, then we can make the recommendation, the interaction, more than happy to do that. Then uh, this is a, a shortcut to get into Forbes and to become a regular contributor. Now, they are very strict though in the application. doesn't mean because you've been recommended, you're automatically in. Because I've recommended some people that it's a background check and they weren't qualified for it. So they didn't go through. But then this is the one that gives you the highest chances to be selected, to become immediately a Forbes contributor without putting a lot of work up front in building relationship with other contributors, stalking them on the other social media, applying for a hundred different pitches to, to editors and so on. So that's something that you can use. All great so far. So now what action are you going to do? This is my action point for this part. Sign up to Haro, H-A-R-O, help a reporter out. And then the other thing I want to do is sign up to Source Bottle. They're both free. They will send you tons of emails every day with all the opportunities they have in. So make sure you schedule your time because I found at the beginning it was quite overwhelming, receiving about 150 opportunities every day. At the beginning, I was just spending my day writing those proposals. So I would do maybe 10 minutes a day or maybe I would just sit one day a week and drew through all that. But remember that they are very time sensitive. So just apply for the one that are coming in on the same day because uh, these journalists, they're looking for an opportunity on, on, for a contributor on that very day. So most of the pitches, they will be limited within 24 hours. So don't waste time to respond to a pitch which was uh, you know, two days before because it's very unlikely, it's very likely they've already selected someone. Um, okay, then the next one, is uh, this, this is what we're going to do, right? Are we, go, are we clear? You're going to sign up to Source Bottle, you're going to sign up to Haro, and then if you're one of our clients or you're working with us and we see that you're right fit for the Forbes Coaches Council, then I will make a personal introduction. Alexandra says, interesting. Um, many of the people I've been uh, talking are, uh, to our coaches, but I want to use academies instead as governments are more likely to listen to us that way. Absolutely. So it's not, you don't have to be a coach. Actually, let's put it this way. Never call yourself a coach because you are not a coach. You are not even a speaker. That's why I would not say call yourself a speaker. 
Identify yourself with the results that you give to other people. Because uh, the coaching or the speaking is the tool that you use to get that result. But you don't use just that tool. You might use many tools. So don't call yourself a coach. Just give yourself the favor. Give me a favor. Because that's how you don't get client. Oh, it's another coach. It's one of them. <laughs> They're growing like freaking mushrooms right now. Everyone is a bloody coach. So when someone asks me, what do you do? I will say, I turn experts into authorities. That's what I do. Is coaching one of the elements that I use? Yes. Is mentoring one? Yes. Is ours kicking one? Yes. Is uh, NLP one? Yes. So there are a lot of things that I'm using to make this happen. But I'm not identifying myself with the tool. It's almost like saying I'm building, I'm repairing a kitchen and I need to use a hammer. But because I use a hammer, I am a hammer. It's a bit weird, right? You're not a hammer because you use a hammer. You just use a hammer. But what you're doing, you're a technician. Make sure you fix the bloody kitchen. Right? So think about that. I'm just sick of everyone complaining about this problem. Um, yeah, I get it. Uh, I don't know what the, what the problem you're talking about. Uh, so uh, I, can, I can give you more feedback on that. So if you can write it down, that would be awesome. So now... We're going to look at the next part. And this is we are talking, that's that we are we're almost at the, at the hour part, the hour mark. So I'm going to skim through this part. And this is the perfect marketing plan. Now the perfect marketing plan I'm going to deliver right now as a bonus session, which are the top two strategies with all the marketing plans that you can use. Let me give you the top two strategies to help you give a massive audience and high paying clients both at the same time. Do you want to hear them? Just give me a yes in the comments if you want to know what kind of strategies is there. All right? Just make sure. That, write me yes. You want to know what these two strategies are? Oh. Because we are almost at the end of the webinar, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to reveal those two strategies. But before that, I want to do something else. So if you want, like the content of the webinar is finished. Otherwise, you can stay on and I'll give you the bonus, the top two strategies that I'm going to say. But what I wanted to share with you is also some of the results that we got with some of our clients for those of you that are going to apply to our consultation. So then if you don't want to hear that, free to leave the webinar right now. Hope you got what you wanted. Hope you, want, you got what you came for. Go and apply it. If you're the kind of person who says, you know what, I understand that by having someone else working with me, I can get there faster because I believe. And I hope you believe the same. The time is far more precious than money. Time is the only thing we never get back in life. Then stay on this webinar because I can show you what kind of results you can expect by working with us, how we work with people, and then you can apply for your consultation. Sounds cool? Then as soon as I finish this part, which is going to last about five minutes, not more than that, then we are going to move on to the Q&A and the bonus part and then Q&A. We're all on the same page? Give me a whoop whoop if you're staying in, so then I can move on. So there is something that uh, I've um, uh, I became really aware of, which is this concept of environment dictates performance. And it's a big learning for you as well. The environment you're in will determine the results that you will have. If you're doing things by yourself or you're not surrounded by a conducive environment, but uh, an environment that is pulling you down, then you can be the most driven, you can be the most uh, knowledgeable, you can be the most uh, excited person in the world. You're not going to get the results that you want. Why? Because you always feel like swimming against the current. It's all going to feel hard work. It's going to all feel difficult. And uh, uh, I play basketball. Uh, I'm not that tall, but I play basketball and I, po and I play in the fourth division at the national level, in the National League here in the UK. And my coach is uh, this gentleman called Steve Beckenall. Now, Steve Beckenall plays in the, used to play, right now he's more, he's older than, he's more than 50 year old, but used to play in the NBA. He was the first Brit that ever played in the NBA. He used to play with me for the Lakers, uh, with uh, people like uh, Magic Johnson, Karim Abdul-Jabbar, and, uh, and all the era. So the, the, the Lakers, the, the, the top Lakers that you can ever imagine. And he was part of that team. Now, I 
having him as a coach, do you think that it was conducive to my environment, to my growth as a basketball player? Instead of having, you know, Pinko Palino down the road? No, I don't want to be trained by Pinko Palino. I want to be trained by Steve Beckham. Why? Because he showed results not only as a coach, but also for himself. And that's why I wanted to work with him. And uh, the same thing happens in your business. As we said before, you know, if you don't have the best practices, if you're doing things by yourself because you don't have the peer group, if you don't have an external accountability to kick your ass and you have no resources, then good luck. I, I really wish you the best to grow your business in this way. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm saying it's going to be an interesting journey. Business is already difficult by itself. Don't make the mistake to make it even more difficult for yourself because you don't want to spend a bit of money. That's called silly. But I made that mistake, I paid the price, and then I became smarter. So I hope I can pass the message on. So what to do next? Then make sure you get the best practices, make sure you get the right peer group, get external accountability, and also get the resources that you need in order to grow your business faster because time is more valuable than money. And this is the biggest thing that you've got to take away from this webinar. So in this way, you can grow the business uh, at the rate that you want, at the pace that you want. And also, you can finally be proud because you're getting credible results. Instead of being frustrated of, oh, one day is a month is a good month because I get clients. And the other month is a crap month because I'm not getting clients. And there is no predictability in the business. And this is what we're going to bring you. We'll bring you the predictability so you know that any time you want, you will have clients. This is what we are going to work towards. And uh, we're doing this through implementing for our clients different strategy. For example, with Annette, so we use a webinar strategy. And uh, she had a webinar. She made about 15 webinars by herself. She never made any sale. And we did the first webinar together. She made her first sale with seven attendees. She was the happiest person in the world. Just with one sale because it gave her the belief that actually this could work. Now, guess what? Next webinar made five sales right and sometimes it's just a belief that that strategy works to get people to get unlocked uh we had for example hannah hannah got uh, through a, one of the uh, a referral strategy that we created she created a strategic alliance with someone that brought out a lot of business to herself another one is for example michelle we organized we did an event strategy with michelle and uh, with the event strategy we did for michelle we attracted HR managers. Now she works in a corporate space. So we wanted to attract HR managers in the room. And she got her biggest international client ever just by an event that we did together. Now, what we helped her with is to make sure that the event that she was going to put on, we had the right people in, we had the right pitch and the right offer. So then the conversion happened. Um, we have uh, uh, this is Lava that throughout her way by getting on featured in the right publications then she got a paid speaking gig in mexico all expenses paid it wasn't a huge amount it was only 800 dollars plus all expenses paid in a for a week in a five-star resort not bad right as a result going to uh, san that uh, using a consultation strategy so networking and consultation she also made 120k in six months incredible results so all the strategies that I showed you, they work. But what's the difference between the strategy and implementation? Is that implementation gets you to get things done. Now it's time to make a choice. What kind of level do you want to play? You want to play at a small level? That's fine. You don't need me. And uh, I'm not working with people that are not, have no ambitions. But you want to play at a big level? You want to play at a global scale? You want to change millions of lives? Or you want to be a knowledge as a number one in what you do? because you know that in your field there is no one that does things as good as you do, then uh, come and join us. Because this is what we are going to help you. We are going to help you create the perfect structure, the perfect strategy. We're going to help you create your signature program. We're going to help you expand and build a massive audience. And then we are going to help you also get in front of the right publication and get media exposure. And we are going to do this in different ways. We have one-to-one -one programs. We have group programs. That's why I want you to apply for our consultation so then we can understand which one of our program is best for you. Now, we have courses that start from $47 up to £20,000. It's completely up to you which one is going to be the best. 
But by having that consultation, at least we can understand you. That's how we would love to work with our clients. We can understand you. We can uh, see what uh, is the best program for you and what's the best strategy to apply based on your financial situation, based on the time that you have available, because uh, I believe that every person is a unique individual. And that's uh, how we treat people. So we will have a program fit for you or we will make sure that we will give you something that you need so then we can create a long-term partnership. That's what I'm interested in. I'm here in the long term. I'm saying start with us so then we can take you on a journey and working together and getting incredible results. Like uh, a lot of other clients, we had more than 400 clients now going through our courses. And these are only the case study that you saw are only few of the case studies that we have. And I would love you to have your picture on this on the next webinar as a case study. The question is for you, are you willing to take that step? Because I cannot take that step for you. But if you're willing, if you believe in yourself enough, you trust yourself and you say, you know what? I'm in this to make it. Then we are the company and we, our team is a team that can literally blow your mind and get you the results that you want. So now, if you haven't applied for the consultation, apply right now. You can see that uh, there is uh, the offer popping out for the free consultation. You can, uh, you can click it, and uh, you can click here to book. It will open an automated calendar. You will click, and you will have a book the session with our business coach, Dean. Dean will spend time with you to understand what is it you're looking for, and then uh, give you the best product and the best program that we have for you. So then you can get the results that you want in the shortest space of time. That's what I want. Biggest result in the shortest space of time. And then we talk about next. All right? Perfect. So now I want to wrap up uh, with this webinar with uh, talking about a perfect marketing plan. And this is uh, the bonus part before uh, I will answer some questions that you have. So if you have some questions, just let me know. Uh, what are the top two strategies to grow a massive audience and get high paying clients at the same time? There are two strategies. Number one, give external speaking engagement. So be hired as a speaker. Do a free speaking gig for a networking event or an organization or um, a group that you know they have your ideal clients. Now, this strategy is the best one that you can focus on. In particular, if you are in a city where you have uh, events coming up or if you're willing to travel. There is nothing that beats the strategy to grow your audience fast and to get clients at the same time. That's number one. The second strategy is uh, delivering a, 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 a training to someone else's paid community. Now, why is that? If you find that there are going to be other people in your market, in your niche, that they will have a community for people that bought their product or services. A lot of people have right now because right now without a community, you go nowhere with a, with a video business. So businesses now are about building a strong community. So you will find that there are other people that have paid money to be in others' community. For example, people that are joining our courses, they're all part of a private Facebook group. Now, something that I've done incredibly successfully is to go on other people's Facebook group and deliver a training. So I'm going to other people's Facebook group and I will deliver a training for someone else's paid audience. Now, I already know in that moment that these people are already invested. So the kind of people that invest and by delivering a training, then I can get those people to join my Facebook group or to buy one of my introductory products or services or to book a session with me. And if you do that in that way, you will find that it's going to be incredibly high. You will build your audience because you will be exposed to new people that don't know you. And at the same time, you can get high ticket clients immediately. Why? Because those people have already seen you in action. They've already connected with you in some way. And that's why if you just focus on this two strategy to build your audience, you are sorted. I don't want you even to focus on anything else. Facebook advertisement or other form of paid advertisement works if you already have a model of your of a business model that is tested and proven. If otherwise you are just wasting money testing. So unless you have some testing money, which you can do. So if you have a lot of capital, you can have some testing money and you know that that money is to validate your offer and business model. If you don't have that luxury, like when I started, I had a hundred pounds. So I didn't have that luxury. 
to uh, spend money on paid advertisement. Just had enough money to, you know, to, to, to pay my food. <laughs> that was my luxury. I got, I got food this week, yay. Uh, then use these organic strategies where you're delivering a speech to another group or you're delivering a Facebook Live or a paid training or a Zoom training to another paid community. You grow your audience and you get clients at the same time. Mic drop. Focus on this too. Don't waste your time in other stuff. These are the things that works the most. Not just for me, but other parts. Uh, first strategy was, uh, the first strategy, getting speaking engagement, external speaking engagement to other uh, people's event. Like some of the things that we do when people work together, we make introduction to event organizers or we make introductions to other people that have paid communities or free communities to get them to deliver this kind of training because I have a lot of connections. So then people can leverage from the connections that uh, I am building consistently. And that's one of the other benefits of growing with us, working with us, so that we can open doors that it will take months or years for you to open by yourself. But I've been now in this industry for seven years. I'm 29. Actually, I'm 30 almost. So I've been in this industry for eight years. And I started when I was 22. So in eight years, I built a lot of connection. I did thing in a smart way, in particular in the past three, three to four years, was very focused on getting those results. And this, so this is the strategy that you can use. Now, Q&A, Q&A, and then we are done for the day. So make sure you book that consultation, right? Make sure you book that consultation. Like worst case scenario, like what do you have to lose? You've got nothing to lose, it's a chat. You can see if, uh, how we can work together and what kind of uh, services that we have that are perfect for you. All right, so we have a first question, we have questions. I have a YouTube channel, but only I have 22 subscribers. I upload one to two pages, uh, probably video a week. Okay, for how long have you been running your YouTube channel? This is the first question. One, for how long have you been running your YouTube channel? Because uh, YouTube channels is something that requires a good two years to grow unless you have a lot of money that you can put behind or you can pay an influencer to give you a shout out. Uh, or maybe you can have a great relationship and spend time in building that relationship with your influencer. So if you have not run your YouTube channel for at least two years, then one is just time. <laughs> keep doing, keep consistent, and uh, things will come, focusing on YouTube. Any ideas on how to grow a, and build a large audience? Keep, keep going with that. And the other one, uh, uh, check your keywords on your YouTube videos, making sure that your keywords, uh, I hope you know what you're doing and you took some YouTube training before launching your YouTube channel. So then you can uh, apply those uh, uh, strategies. So, you know, the title needs to be the right title, something that people are searching. The tags needs to be the right tags of words that people are searching. The description need to have the right description. You need to have tags and annotation to take one person to the video to the other video. So if you put all these things, you will organically build an audience. Other thing you can do is to build a relationship with an influencer, which is already have uh, hundreds of thousands of followers, and ask them uh, what would it take for them to shut out your channel. Now there are two things that they need: one is a strong relationship with you, or two is money. Right? Money buys uh, what relationship? M money buys time. Remember that. If you offer someone money, they will always open doors for you. Uh, that's my biggest uh, advice here. Um, I missed that as the link took me out. Uh, okay. Uh, the first strategy was uh, oh, if you're uh, the first strategy to get uh, to build the audience is to get speaking engagement on other people's events. That's the biggest one you can do. Uh, Bobby, I have a big audience on LinkedIn, but I'm not converting as nothing in place with landing pages. So you already know what you got to do, Bobby. Um, so the other thing is, how many conversation, how many people are you actively reaching out on LinkedIn to see if they want consultations? Because I make good money with LinkedIn, but I'm having about five, sometimes 20 conversations uh, a day, minimum five a day. Remember the five a day? <laughs> uh, well, I actively reach out to people and see if they're interested in having a consultation with me or if they're interested in consuming some of my content. So we'll not direct them to a landing page. I'm just in interacting with them, seeing what they need, 
and uh, I know that my audience, if they are speakers or trainers or authors, I uh, will know how to start a conversation. Then I will start a sales conversation with your LinkedIn. And then I will say, okay, now based on this conversation, would you like to have a chat? And I will bring it on a consultation. It's gonna have lots of, okay, so you're having individual conversation. Is the audience now your target clients or are just random people that you're building up? Because if they are your, your target clients and you are purposefully engaging that conversation, then uh, uh, it might be that actually is the conversation that is not working well. It might be this the structure of the conversation doesn't bring consultation. Or if you get consultations, but you don't convert them, it means that you need to improve your sales skills, which I think in this case is what's, what's needed right now, improving your sales skills. So then by improving your sales skills, you can improve the number of consultations you have, number of interactions, and also the number of closes that you have. Um, each post on LinkedIn gets over a thousand views within a day. That's brilliant. That's a brilliant reach. So with that, Apply for the consultation, Bobby, because uh, I make sure that we work together and we get you to monetize that audience. And if you got a thousand views within a day, I make about like five to ten grand just from LinkedIn. I'm not focusing a lot on LinkedIn, but just five to ten grand a month just from LinkedIn. And my average visualization about 250 posts, 250 views a day, 300 a day. So we can definitely work if you have this kind of views within a day. You got over 12,000 connections. Jeez, man, you got, you got double than mine. I got about 7,000. I can see that. Man, apply for the consultation. We'll work with you. We'll, man, we'll, oh, just apply for the consultation. I want to work with you. I can help you out with that kind of audience, man. I go, you can go for, for, for a 50K launch on something. Minimum. Whew, I'm excited now. Apply for the consultation. All right, any other question here? Any other questions that we have here in the room? Um, based on the webinar on what we covered so far, so we talked about the three, the perfect strategies, the strategies that you want to use. We are going to, we talked about uh, the signature program and the signature offer. We talked about, uh, okay, I don't know what happened here. Uh, we talked about uh, the signature program and the signature offer. Um, we talked about, uh, uh, what else did we talk about? Uh, we talked about the, um, uh, how to get your pitch and how to get on major media publications. And we talked about how to grow your audience. So we had a very packed webinar. Now, what I want to know is, uh, what was the biggest learning from you for this webinar? So what was the biggest thing you took away from this webinar. What was the biggest learning from you? Because by being clear on that learning, then uh, you will be able to um, also understand what is the next step for you, what you're going to implement. And also, for those of you that applied for the consultation, then uh, we can be clear about, okay, now based on the webinar, so that's one of the reasons why we do the webinar. So then you are aware of what you need to work on based on the models that we use, so then when you apply for the consultation, then we already know and you already know where you can focus on. And therefore, we can be more effective in working together. Because that's what I want to do. I know that with a webinar, your business is not going to change. But working together, your business is going to change. That's why I want you to apply and I want, to, I want to work together. So what has been your biggest learning from uh, tonight's webinar that we did today? And... Um, then if you have any question, you can write down your question. Otherwise, we are going to wrap up in a couple of minutes. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for playing full out. I want to thank you to committing to the full length of the webinar because uh, not everyone uh, will stick until the end. A lot of people are doublers. They will start something and then they stop. And then they wonder why they don't get results. Maybe the very thing that they needed to hear was at the very end of the webinar. Who knows? They will never know. So I commend you for sticking through it. I commend you for keeping your commitment. I commend you for keeping your word. Because that's one of the biggest qualities that you can have in, in your industry as a speaker, as a trainer, as, a, as an expert, is your word. To show up 
and keep your keep your word. So I commend you for that. Thank you very much. Uh, Bobby says practical tips learned. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Bobby. Everyone else which is watching, thank you very much for joining the webinar. Make sure you apply for the consultation. If you haven't applied yet, do it right now. I'm going to give you as well, I'm going to stick the link in the, uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to stick the link as well in the chat box for everyone. There you go. So you can uh, use the link to book the consultation. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been an absolute pleasure being here with you today and tonight or whatever you're watching. Maybe if you're in the UK, great. If you are somewhere else, great anyway. And uh, I'm looking forward to working together so then uh, I can seriously help your business to make leaps and scale positive six figures. Because that's what we're experts at and that's what we will do for you. I'll see you next time. Ciao.